You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Oh, we've got another entitled athlete. Another athlete from the everybody gets a participation trophy. You get a trophy. You get a trophy. Finish 12th? Yeah. Jerk. Jerk off. You get a trophy. Everybody gets a trophy. Well, now we have this scenario that is popping up more and more. Naomi Osaka. Now, U.S. swimmer Simone Manuel is coming out and saying, I don't want anybody to talk to me when I have just lost a swimming competition. The media doesn't have the right to talk to us. They should wait. Good grief. Let's get to this story. It is, it is ridiculous. I mean, God, what's going on? Man, the lack of character from some of these athletes is downright appalling. U.S. swimmer Simone Manuel urges media to, quote, stop interviewing athletes after poor performances. U.S. Olympic swimmer and bronze medalist Simone Manuel took aim at the media in a series of tweets this week urging reporters to, quote, stop interviewing athletes after disappointing performances. God. Manuel, Manuel turned 25 has taken issue with the post-race interviews at the Games, saying in a tweet on Tuesday that those media appearances in general don't give athletes enough time to, quote, process everything. That's the point, Simone. Please stop interviewing athletes right after disappointing performances before they have any time to process anything. Trust me, they gave it their all. Nothing else people need to know at that time. Okay, well, I wonder about those advertisers that pay those big bucks to see those disappointing moments. The five-time Olympic medalist elaborated further on her comments in a series of tweets. The amount of people who say we're just sore losers or that we're obligated to do interviews is problematic. Here we go with this terminology. Problematic. Anybody that says prob problematic, odds are they're pretty woke. Lack of empathy for athletes is problematic. Wow. As someone who studied communication in college with multiple journalism classes, I understand the role of the media. Okay. Manuel said the media should look at us as humans with emotions. That's why they're wanting to talk to you, because you are a human with emotions, and we want to see, win or lose, the emotions from said athlete. It's mentally and emotionally exhausting to coherently answer questions while trying to process the fact that people already saw you fall short of your goals you worked so hard for on the world's biggest stage. Manuel claimed her stance was not an attack on the media, but rather a possible solution. There's not a problem. Just give us a moment. The story can wait. Empathy and kindness is the most important thing we need in that moment. Can we coddle you any more? Possibly. Oh, Manuel's performance in Tokyo came to a disappointing end after she failed to medal in the same events she dominated in at the Rio Games. In 2016, she became the first black woman to win an individual swimming gold medal in the 100-meter freestyle, an event she failed to qualify for this year. She also won silver in the women's 50-meter freestyle but failed to reach the finals in Tokyo. She did take home a bronze medal in the women's 4x100 freestyle relay. It's hard to work so hard for something and not see your results pay off, she said after the 50 mil, uh, meter race. Well, look, you know, it's amazing that you, you athletes are feeling like you're so entitled to something. I mean, I understand you put a lot of work into this. You're an elite athlete. This is what you do. But answering questions, hard questions, after you fail is also what you sign up for. It is part of the equation. Okay? Some of these athletes claiming mental stress, yeah, you're under, you're under scrutiny. You are. Okay? It comes with the territory. Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, all these elite athletes are under mental scrutiny. And, and, and then they have to answer questions when they fail. Baseball players... They make the Hall of Fame, and they fail 7 out of 10 times when they're batting at the plate. And then after the game, they have to answer questions. 
That's possible. Now they actually interview baseball players from the dugout during games. I'm not sure why, when this has been a thing for so many years, you athletes believe now you should be able to skirt around it. Wrong. NBC televises this. Sports is a reality show. I hate to break it to you athletes. It is just a reality show. Okay? It's the best reality show on television, or it was before all you woke athletes came along. And as part of woke, uh, part of reality television, we want to see the emotion, good or bad. That's why the camera in a football game always pans over and shows the coaches. That's why it shows close-ups of the players or the players sitting on the bench or, or Michelle Tafoya walks over and interviews somebody right after they get injured. It's part of what you sign up to do. And I'm not sure why all you new athletes, all you younger athletes, feel like you're better than everybody that came before you. You're not. Okay? You're not in the military. You're not ri- uh, putting your life on the line in the military. Police, firefighters, people that are under true, true peril and have to perform under truly stressful mental conditions that they have to take home with them. I understand. You compete. You get disappointed. It's terrible. Yeah, people are going to. That's how we feel empathy as a viewer to watch you. This is something Hollywood does now. They have these heroes, and they try to cram heroes down your throat without the heroes going through the hero's journey. That's what sports stars are supposed to do. You're supposed to go through the journey. That's the failures. That's the rises. That's the successes. How do you think people get behind you as an athlete? We want to hear what you have to say when you fail. That's part of the equation. Okay? If you want to ever be the greatest of all time, we need to see you go through some failures and build your character and build yourself up as an athlete and become legendary. Part of that is answering for your failures. It's just part of it. I'm not sure any of these younger athletes, many of them can ever be the greatest of all time in anything as long as they have this mental thought process. Suck it up. Look, we already feel like most athletes are entitled at this point. They feel entitled. You're not entitled to anything. If you don't want to be interviewed, don't compete. That's just my take. I, I, I'm getting sick of these from Naomi Osaka and Simone Manuel, and then Simone Biles decides she's got a mental issue and she can't. She, she's not supposed to have to answer for that maybe. Or come under scrutiny or criticism because you bailed out? Stop it. Come on. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.